let's begin today's topic is types of types of classification or kinds of money that is money in banking class 10 in a broad sense money is of two types that is money of account and money proper your entire focus should be now on understanding what is money of account and what is money proper that's what we are going to make you understand that's what i would try to make you understand you need to pay attention money of account is merely a concept an abstract idea uh it does not undergo a change you see money of account is it, it is just an idea it doesn't it doesn't change it doesn't have a physical form it is just an idea it, it's just like having a concept of doing something it's a concept it doesn't have a physical form and since it doesn't have a physical form it does not undergo any change at all money proper changes its form from time to time but money proper on the other hand it is not an abstract idea it's a physical thing that 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 undergoes a change uh with with time it, it undergoes change tremendous change uh we have seen while reading evolution of money uh that how money has undergone a change that is money proper because money proper is like a proper it, it's like a physical thing that undergoes a change it is a thing that you can touch you can see you can feel money account is just an idea it doesn't does not undergo a, a, a change money proper on the other hand undergoes a change it has a physical structure it is like uh, uh, you have a thought in your mind which you cannot touch and on the other hand you have a bottle in your on your reading table which you can touch so the bottle that you have on your reading table is your money proper uh, you may change the bottle you may change the shape of the bottle over the period of time you may not need the same kind of bottle that you have right now say in 2 years so that is money proper and the idea that you have regarding a bottle in your mind is money account i hope that that clarifies the concept let's read more and you'll understand because they have given here an example of the prime minister's office which we are going to look at uh money proper changes its form time to time what is money proper today will not remain as money proper tomorrow this means uh what we know as money today may not remain as money tomorrow uh, we have seen we have read about the evolution of money and in evolution of money we have seen what was money back in the times is not money today money has undergone a change it means money proper changes its shape over the period of time money of account is like the office of the prime minister of india uh money proper is like the person who happens to be the prime minister at any given point of time that's the example they have given uh money account uh money of account is like the pmo office prime minister's office you know during the period of time uh, uh, since our independence many prime ministers have come and sat on the same chair so money of account is that office the things that are there in that particular room and uh, money proper are the people as uh, as as the prime ministers you know they they have undergone a change uh, every every year every election or we can say in couple of elections people have changed over the course of history we have seen many prime ministers have changed but the but their seat their office had remained the same it is even same today so money of account is the office and money proper is the individual that undergoes a change same example can be given with your maths teacher with your science teacher with your english teacher the post is same people keep on changing teachers keep on changing so the change is money proper and the and the position the post that we have that is money of account commodity money animal money metallic money and paper money were money proper at different points of time and at the same time they were also money of account you see uh from the very beginning of evolution of money that is commodity money we had barter system then we had animal money we had metallic money we had paper money all these uh forms of money were both money of account and they were money proper as well because uh they were like a thing and they they can they under un, they had undergone a change as well independent india has seen so many personalities as prime ministers 
at different points of time, but there is a common thread running through all of them. They all have the office of Prime Minister of India. You see, uh, after independence, so many Prime Ministers have changed in India, but the Prime Minister's office has remained the very same. People have come, people have gone, many individuals as the President of, as the Prime Minister of India had changed, but the office has remained the same. What I try to mean in the chapter Money and Banking by the concept money, how is money uh, as money of account as money of proper? Money of proper. Money, kaise money of account hai or kaise money proper hai? Money is first of all a concept, you see. Uh, and, and people had found over the, over the course of history, pehle unho ne commodity ko money banaya, phir unho ne animals ko money banaya, phir unho ne coin, gold, silver, or abhi latest ko chal raha, that's paper money. So money jo hai, wo both pro money of account bhi hai, or money of, uh, proper money bhi wo hai, kyunki it is a concept as well, and it is a thing that constantly is undergoing a change. Money jo hai constantly change ho the, the paper money that we have in today's world may not be the same, say, in 20 years. After 20 years, we may go completely cashless. Uh, sab kuch uh, online ho sakta hai. Paper money ki hume zarurat bhi na ho sakti hai. No? There could be a world, could be a society like that. Let's see, uh, abhi jo jiske types hote hai. Money account is just a concept. As I said, money proper has different types. Under money proper, proper, we have 15 kinds of money. Number one is commodity money. Then secondly, animal money, metallic money, paper money, legal tender money, non-legal tender money, fiat money, token money, check money, standard money, hot money, dear money, easy money, black money. This is one of the most important topics here. Black money is the color of the, of the money black what do you think it's not that black money is not that then we have high power money we will now slowly discuss one by one first is what is commodity money we've read about it a couple of times see commodity money in the barter system commodity was the medium of exchange uh, it was both money of account and money proper. Accounts were kept in the form of commodity. Uh, in barter system, commodity was the money. You, know, you produce something and you exchange that particular commodity with another individual by getting something else that he or she had produced uh, in barter system. That was the exchange. That was the exchange system. That's how people did their transactions. And commodities were directly. Uh, treated as medium of exchange. In that period of time, that particular commodity that you had, suppose you, you had produced rice or potato or tomato or anything like that, that was your money of account and that was your money proper because over the period of time that changed. Maybe this year you produced potato, next year you had produced rice, the very next year you produced something else. So money proper keeps changing. But the idea that this is treated as money remains the very remains the same. The idea, when it remains same, we call it money of account. And the, and money proper means the physical form that it has. It keeps on changing. So in commodity money, which was in barter system, it was both money of account and money proper. And accounts were kept in the form of commodity. It means how many com how much how many commodities one individual had, based on that, an account was kept. Based on that, people declared them as rich or poor or something like that. Then came animal money. It was again money proper. It was again money of account. Animals were used as money, popularly goats. Goat was the medium of exchange. After, Bart, after the failure of part of the system, we had uh, animal money. And in animal money specifically, uh, we had goods. Bakri jo hai, usse, usko as a medium of uh, exchange mana jata tha. Iska matlab, iske baare mein hamlo discuss kar chuke hai. We had also discussed about the demerits of that and merits of that. Ki tumhare baas jitne bakri honge, usse nirdarit hoga, usse ye, ye determine kiya jai ki how much money you have and uh, how much wealth you, you carry. To animal money, in, in animal standard of money, we had goods, goods as the medium of exchange. It was both money proper 
and it was both money of the company because you see over the period of time the size of the goods kept on changing and uh, there were other things that people exchanged at the end of animal standard fir animal standard failure ho gaya uske baad aaya metallic money you see uh, before i go on to point number 3 that is metallic money again i'm going to emphasis on two types that money has money has money is brought in divided into two categories one is money of account and another one is money proper you need to understand these two concepts first because you see if you don't understand these two concepts you will not understand what i'm talking about here money of account i'm repeating again money of account is just a concept it is a thought that you have in your brain it does not have a shape it is just within you you cannot feel it you cannot touch it but money proper is something that is physical you can touch it and money something that is physical it will obviously uh, undergo a change suppose uh, you as, as a human being you are you, you have a shape you you exist so you will change over the period of time but the thought that i have in my mind that's why you know i, I can give you a very different example of of how people see themselves you see i'm i'm, I'm getting older even you are getting older everybody gets old gets old uh, over a certain period of time but you see the idea of being young is always in the mind you go to go to a person who is 50 years old or 60 years old and ask them uh, are you really old they are not old they want to do all the things that a young guy want, is doing suppose they want to go for a bike ride they want to do the the mountain trekking things like that nobody you see the concept money account is the concept it is never old never young it is as same it is it is always same but money proper which means the shape the physical availability of that thing it undergoes a change that is what you need to understand commodity money it, it was both animal money it was both now metallic money it was also both in course of time gold and silver came to be used as medium of exchange so later on people started using gold and silver as an exchange of uh, as a medium of uh, exchange and because of that these things were were treated as as money now it was the stage of metallic money this stage is known as metallic stage we saw it is a metal it's gold and silver these are metals it was also money of account it is not clear here whether uh, that was uh, it was also money of account but they have not said whether that was money proper or not but i would say it was money proper why because you see from gold and silver we made coins so it and it, it did undergo a change so I, i would say that it is both money of account because you kept all the accounts by having how much of that thing you have in your hand in your house in your locker i would say how much jewelry you have in your locker how much silver you have in your locker that would give you an account of that how much you have something uh, in today's economy we would say how much how much of a paper money you have in your locker in your wallet that is your money of account and how it undergoes a change in the market that is uh, uh, the money proper fourthly it is paper money the, the present form of money that we are using paper money has replaced metallic money everybody knows that and as it is easy to carry because uh, the, the metallic the coinage it was harder for people to carry like a huge amount of money with them because obviously these these, these they were metals and bahut zyada heavy hote the to inko ek jagah se dusri jagah mein le jana it was a it was a big deal uske wajah se jab paper money introduced hua paper money became really really popular among people earlier on paper money was convertible or representative paper money as it was convertible into gold and silver of equivalent value at first as i said in our previous discussion uh, that uh, paper money at first was not regarded as the form of money paper money at first was convertible means if you have paper money you can convert that into gold or silver people slowly changed paper money uh, sorry uh, gold and silver which is metallic money into paper money but at first when paper was uh, thrown at people people did not accept paper money why because people thought that thought like uh, certain digits are written on a piece of paper but the value of the paper is not even 50 paise you know it's less so people had hard times you know to accept that 
because governments were not as strong as it is today. Slowly, at first, money was convertible. It means if you had paper money, uh, it's, it's like uh, today's world. We have paper money and we have credit card and we have debit cards. So we don't have to carry the cash. Debit cards and credit cards work where people have these swiping machines. So earlier time, when money was introduced, hua tha, paper money was introduced, what happened? That paper money you can carry it with you. Suppose you want to go to a distant place, to do a transaction, बहुत दूर जाके तुम्हें transaction करनी है। In a situation, तुम्हें तो gold carry नहीं कर सकते, because it's a that there is a risk factor associated with that। तब लोग क्या करते थे? Gold को जो है money में convert, मतलब paper money में convert कर लेते थे, and they used to carry that amount of money with them easily, without being seen, without being noticeable। जाते थे, बड़ा सा transaction वहाँ पर करते थे, and they used to come back। That that that's what people did। तो पहले पहले जो है paper money कि you need to understand that कि paper के ऊपर 100 रुपए लिखा हुआ है क्योंकि paper का value तो बिल्कुल नहीं है 100 रुपए is a big deal you see 100 रुपए से मैं हो सकता है I could buy a like a bundle of paper but वो जो जिस piece of paper के ऊपर 100 रुपए लिखा हुआ है उसका price 25 पैसे से भी कम हो सकता है that's what you need to understand so at first people did not understand uh, people did not take paper money. People did not accept take paper money as the form of money. People accepted it because paper money was convertible into gold and silver. Today's paper money, however, is inconvertible and non-representative paper money as it is no longer convertible into gold and silver. You see, today's paper money that we have, it has uniqueness. Government has, has put some unique marks on, on, on them. It, it has certain, certain color. It has certain... Uh, certain identification marks that government tells you how to, how to identify and only reserve bank the makers of the money they know how they had made it and it is a secret to the government nobody knows that so because of that nowadays 2000 rupees might be written on a piece of paper that costs you only 50 paise but the value is 2000 because of its uniqueness because uh, and today's paper money is not convertible at all it is not convertible it's not convertible like uh, Two way, two way round नहीं है ये। जैसे पहले paper money होगा, फिर gold में convert करेंगे, and after that we will do the transaction. Nowadays, paper money plays the key role. It is not convertible at all. Paper money is accepted as a standard form of transaction. It is no longer a claim against gold or silver. You see, you cannot claim paper money against gold or silver. It is not like I have paper money. You would go to a goldsmith and you will claim that this is the paper money. Give me some gold, and then you have the gold, and then you can do the transaction. It is no longer that way. Paper money has been accepted as a as a as a standard medium of of money because government governments have become stronger because governments have put certain certain identification uniqueness to, to that that is that cannot be copied by every other individual see it is money in its own right so paper money is money in its own right it does not have to it, it is like the principal clause it does not depend on anybody now but earlier it was a subordinate clause it dependent it depended on, uh, on 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 gold and silver that's how we need to understand yeah yeah right now it is like uh, the principal clause it does not depend it is a money of its own paper ke upar 200 likha hai to 200 rupees wala note wo hai paper ka value char ana bhi ho usse koi lena dena nahi hai kyunki us paper ke note mein uniqueness hai jo government ne us par put up kiya hai and which is by the law of the land we have to accept okay it is used as a medium of exchange and accounts are also maintained in the form of paper money thus it is both money of account and proper money so in today's in today's world we use paper money uh, as as money of account kyunki tumhare paas kitna paisa hai how many 200 rupee notes you have usse pata chalta hai tumhare paas account kitna hai kitna hazar rupee hai tumhare paas 10000 20000 1 lakh 2 lakh millions kitne hai tumhare paas karodo rupee hai kitne hai this is what is determined right now paise se pata chalta hai kitna tumhare paas hai also money keeps on changing over the period of time because it has many units uh, uniqueness change wala jaise uh, the 1000 rupee note was banned and 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 2000 rupee note was imposed isse kya pata chalta hai 2000 rupee note imposed was ka matlab 2000 rupee note does not look like 1000 rupee note a lot has changed lekin paper money to paper money hi raha hai so what i'm trying to tell you is this paper money has evolved as 
has overthrown commodity money, animal money, metallic money, and it is now a standard form of money. And it is both money of account that we can save saving kar sakte hain, and we can count how much we have of something. And also it is money proper because it undergoes a tremendous change by the law of the land, by the government that we have in our country. Let's talk about legal tender money. What is legal tender money? You see, when what, what, what do we understand by the word legal? You see, legal means something that is accepted by the law of our country. Something, something that is ordered or imposed or commanded by the law of our country, by our government. That is called legal. It has rights associated with that. So legal tender money means money that has been accepted by the government and it has to be accepted by one and all. If anybody, you see, if some money is, is regarded as legal tender money. What is legal tender money? The money that you have in your wallets, the money that you have within the books. Abhi chupa ke jo rakha hua hai. Wo money jo hai, legal tender money hai. Kyunki, if, if you go with that piece of paper to somebody, to a shopkeeper and you ask them, give me this, give me that, he cannot deny, he cannot say, ye so rupay ka note nahi hai, ye to fake hai. He cannot deny that. Because if he denies that, there, 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 there will be action taken against him. So you need to understand that legal tender money means money that is accepted by the government of your country and each and every individual living in that country will have to accept it as a medium of exchange. Okay, now you have an, have an idea about that. Let's read and let's, let's find out what the book has to say. When the general acceptability of money as a medium of exchange is supported by the law of the land, it is legal tender money. You see, when the general acceptability of money, when you have, when you call something money, I may call this as money, you know, and if the government says, this piece of pencil is money, then everybody, you have to accept it, I have to accept it, and somebody else, like a tailorwala or a rickshawwala, everybody has to accept this as a medium of exchange, if government says so. So what we are saying here is this, when government, when, when something has general acceptability, and when that general acceptability is supported by the government, it becomes legal tender money. Now, after that, you see, this is what you need to understand because there was a there was a huge mess regarding ten rupee coin uh, uh, a couple of months ago, maybe maybe a, a year or two uh, ago. Uh, the, the people had uh, difficulties to accept ten rupee coin. Now, let's let's find out what what may happen if somebody does that. Refusal to accept it as a medium will be violation of the law. You see, if anybody, that is, if that money, if that piece of paper is, is, is regarded as money by the government of your country, and if you deny that, it is a violation of the law, which means uh, a case may be uh, 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 reported against you, may be filed against you. So that, 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 that's something you should note down. Legal tender money are of two types. Limited legal standard money and the other one is unlimited legal tender money. Now, what's, what's the difference between these two? Limited legal tender money is money which is acceptable up to a given value of transaction. Transaction may, may be low value or high value transaction. For high value transaction, it will be cumbersome to use small coins. For example, a person has sold his plot of land which is worth of 10 lakh. If the buyer of the plot of the land pays rupees 10 lakh in all small coins, the transaction will be too cumbersome, it's difficult. On the other hand, unlimited legal tender money is money which can be used as a medium of exchange for transaction of any value, 10 lakh, 10 crore, 100 crore and so on. Whether limited or unlimited, legal tender money is both money proper and money of account. Now you need to understand, uh, what is limited? Uh, limited legal tender money. Limited legal tender money means money acceptable to an extent. You see, you have one rupee coin, you have two rupee coin, you have five rupee coin, you have five rupee note, you have ten rupee note, you have twenty rupee note, and this and the story goes like that. Now you see, there is a acceptability of that note. Now suppose I, I buy something that costs me say ten thousand rupee, or say, say that that costs me. 20,000 rupee. Now, if I decide to give the, the whole amount of money to that, to, that, uh, to that shopkeeper in coins, it will be difficult for him to first count the coin. First of all, to count the coin. 
बीस हजार रुपए अगर मैं एक रुपए वाला कॉइन देता हूँ बीस हजार उसको तो बहुत बड़ा हो जाएगा मे बी ड्रम्स एंड ड्रम्स ऑफ मनी वुट बी एंड विल बी एक्सट्रीमली कम्बरसम एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट फॉर दैट इंडिविजुअल टू काउंड दैट इसके लिए यहां पे ये यह बताया गया है कि लीगल मनी हैज टू पार्ट वन इज लिमिटेड लीगल टेंडर मनी इसका मतलब हर एक जो मनी का जो यूनिट है यू कैन नॉट यू कैन यूज डिफरेंट यूनिट्स ऑफ मनी अगर ट्रांजेक्शन बड़ा है तो बड़ा यूनिट ऑफ मनी तुम्हें इस्तेमाल करना है इसका मतलब ये नहीं यू जस्ट हैव वन रुपी नोट एंड यू कैन बाई सम करोड़ रुपी नो कान डू दैट एंड इन दैट मैनर मनी इज लीगल टेंडर मनी इज लिमिटेड एंड दे हैव गिवन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू हैज सोल्ड हैज his plot his land which is 10 lakh rupee worth and uh, if you decide if somebody you know if the buyer decides to pay him in small coins it becomes a difficult thing and i give you an example of buying something which costs me say 20000 that's what i that's what i said now on the other hand you see unlimited uh, legal tender money what is that it means it is also uh, exchange of medium of exchange but it is unlimited you can do a transaction of 10 lakh 10 crore 100 crore and so on that is unlimited uh, unlimited tender money uh, that can be done with bigger units of money also that can be done online now however whether that's limited whether that's unlimited this legal tender money is both money of account and money proper because you see you can save that you can have an account of that and also it keeps on going undergoing it keeps going थ्रू चेंजेस ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम चेंज होगा तो मनी ऑफ प्रॉपर होगा मनी ऑफ अकाउंट इज जस्ट एन आइडिया डजेंट अंडर गो आर चेंज इट इज वट यू कीप इन योर हाउस नंबर सिक्स नॉन लीगल टेंडर मनी फर्स्टली वी रैट लीगल टेंडर मनी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रीड नॉन लीगल टेंडर मनी उट्स दैट when the general acceptability of money as a medium of exchange has no legal support has no legal support uh it becomes non legal tender money refusal to accept this form of money will not mean any violation of the law of the land for example check money you see uh this is a, this is a very good example uh check money is non legal tender money Uh, it is something you can refuse to accept and if you do so nothing's going to happen against you no nobody can file a case against you and uh, that, that's as simple as that now what is non legal tender money non legal tender money means uh, the form of money which is not accepted by the law of the land by your government it is not accepted by your government if it is not accepted by your government that is non legal tender money tender money on the other hand a legal tender money is the money that is accepted by your government non legal tender money is the money that is not accepted by your government and if you refuse to accept such form of money there is no violation of any kind of law of any form of law and uh, example is given here as check money and if, if somebody writes check to you because that's not regarded as legal tender money you can deny that you can ask them that i need the money in cash fiat means authority or the power of the state by state i mean the country the government that you have in your country money supported by the fiat of the state is fiat money like all the other types of money it is money proper as well as money account let's try to understand this uh we have let's let's take an example of a 100 rupee note a 100 rupee note let's let's take an example of that तो ये जो हंड्रेड रुपी का जो ये नोट है किस चीज से बना हुआ है ये नोट पेपर से बना हुआ है ओबियसली पेपर से बना हुआ है लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अनदर कॉइन से फाइव रुपी कॉइन या फिर टेन रुपी का एक कॉइन जो है बना हुआ है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मेटेरियल दैट इज यूज टू मेक दैट मनी जिस के ऊपर ये सौ रुपए का जो नोट जो बना हुआ है हंड्रेड रुपी नोट इट इज Made on a piece of paper. What is the value of that piece of paper? इतना छोटा का पीस का वैल्यू पेपर का वैल्यू क्या होगा आई डोंट थिंक फिफ्टी पैसे इवन फिफ्टी पैसे इट इज नॉट इवन फिफ्टी पैसे इट्स लेस राइट नाउ थिंक अबाउट दैट कॉइन विच इज विच इज अ हंड्रेड रुपी कॉइन नो थिंक अबाउट दैट 
um, what, what, what's the value of that that coin? It's obviously more than the paper money, right? Is, is, is it more than the paper money? Obviously, it's more than the paper money. Why? Because metals are being used to make that particular form of money. Now, what is fiat money? Fiat money means what government says or government recommends or government announces as the form of money. Now, that might be on a piece of paper, they might say 2,000 rupee and you, have, you are to accept that form of money. Now, you see, if you think about the actual worth of the piece of thing, piece of material on, on which that was made, bilkul worthless hai wo. Matab 2,000 rupee note ka 2,000 likha hatao and just think about the note quality of the material. 50 paise bhi nahi hai. Lekin that note has 2,000 rupee value. 2,000 rupee value bohon jyada hai. Ab, you see, it had, it has many advantages and disadvantages. Jaise, if government can make it invalid any time, you see, you see government, if, if government today says this note is invalid, now it doesn't matter how much, you, how, may, how many notes you have of that, it, it, it is going to be invalid. But, if you think about it, same 100 rupee note a coin mein humne banaya. 100 rupee jo hai wo ek coin mein humne banaya with the same year in the, in the metallic, metallic era humne banaya. Or achanak se agar maine kaha ki aaj se ye paisa band hai. But do you think the person who owes that will be absolutely at a loss? Bilkul nahi kyunki jama ke kya karega usko? Jama ke usko metal milega usko. Metal ka kuch to worth hai. Something worth is there. Now that's the difference between metallic money and fiat money. Fiat money means the money on which your state has an authority. The state says that it is 100 rupee note. The state says it is 1000 rupee note. State says it is 2000 rupee note. Then that, that might be written on a piece of paper which is worthless, but you have to accept it. That is fiat money. Means money that is accepted by your government. That is fiat money. Now fiat money is also money proper and it is also money of account. Alright. Uh, so fiat money is 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 both money proper and it's both it's both money proper and money of account. It is both of that. Uh, because fiat, fiat money is just the money that is supported by the government. You don't have to worry about that if you missed out on that because uh, you, you can later on go, go on YouTube and skip to the part and listen to the discussion again. That's, that's how it is going to be beneficial to you. Okay, uh, number eight is token money. What is token money? When the face value or the written value or embossed value of money is higher than its intrinsic or metallic value it becomes token money you see when you write on a piece of paper that it is 2000 rupee note but the value of that piece of paper is less than 50 paise again I'm, I'm talking about the same thing because these two two topics are kind of related so you need to tussle your mind to understand that when will it become a token money it will become a token money when the value imposed the value written on a piece of paper or a piece of metal is more than that metal jaise ek 100 rupees ke note mein ya fir 1000 rupees ke rupees ka jo note hai usme 1000 rupees likha hua hai lekin uska value jo hai 50 paise se bhi kam hai jab hum kisi ek material ke upar uske daam se zyada value likhte hain aur usko uske jis cheez se wo cheez bana hua hai usse bhi zyada uska value mana jata hai that is called token money. Token money are paper money. Because you see, paper, uh, basically, it's not very costly. It's, it's not very costly. But on a piece of paper, you write some big amount of, big number that is supported by the law of the land. Then, the amount that is written on the piece of paper is way more than the manufacturing cost of that tiny piece of paper. That is token money. When that happens, that's your token money. For example, they have given an example. Let's try to look at that. Take a 100 rupee note, the word 100 is written on that currency, that is the face value, you see. Take a 100 rupee note, 100 rupee is written on that piece of paper, 100 rupee is the face value. But, the currency it's made, the currency is made of paper, the value of paper is used, is much less than the written value. But, the, but if you talk about the value, 
ऑफ द पीस ऑफ पेपर ऑन विच द फेस वैल्यू इज रिटन वो तो उससे बहुत गुना कम है फिफ्टी पैसे होगा सौ रुपए फिफ्टी पैसे बहुत गुना कम है ना वट इज टोकन मनी टोकन मनी इज द फेस वैल्यू दैट इज रिटन ऑन ए पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड दैट इज सपोर्टेड बाय द लैंड बाय द बाय द बाय योर लैंड बाय योर गवर्नमेंट उसको हम टोकन मनी कहते हैं Now it is paper money is token money. That's why in the poem World White Man, you have not read that poem yet. Uh, but uh, let me just uh, give you a pro tip here. Uh, in in the poem World White Man will use a word token. How? Now, token means face value of something. It is token money. Similarly, take a five rupee coin. The word five is embossed on the coin. But the value of the metal out of which the coin has been made is much less. It is also an example of token money. See, one rupee note or five rupee, one rupee coin or five rupee coin. If you take an example of that, that is also that is also pretty safe. Why? Because it's written five rupees on that metal. But in that metal, the actual dam, the manufacturing cost of that metal, can be five rupees less than ten rupees less than ten rupees. But again. that is also that is that is regarded as token money and now this is these are the examples of today's uh, money that we have in the market paper money hai jo token money hai aur coin jo money hai wo bhi token money hai the money that we are using today are all example of token money so aajkal hum jitne bhi forms of money istemal karte hain all of them are token money Let's look at check money right now. What is check money? A check is not a legal tender money. We have discussed that because that was an example under non-legal tender money. Check is not legal money. We have discussed that already. Now, an individual may refuse to accept the payment in check. Now, if I give you a payment in check, you may refuse that, and there are no violation of the law of the land if you do so. We have discussed that. A check is a claim against the money. Check is just the claim against the money. It means, as I said in one of my previous classes, that you want to buy a buy a big big commodity, say a motorcycle or a car, and you need to need to give the the the, the payment through a check. कंपनी है वो तुमसे दो दिन या तीन दिन का मोहलत लेगा बिकॉज दे नीड टू वेरीफाई डू यू रियली हैव दैट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इन योर अकाउंट सो चेक मनी इज द क्लेम अगेंस्ट द मनी दैट यू हैव इन योर बैंक अकाउंट बट यू मे नॉट हैव दैट 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 अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इन योर बैंक अकाउंट दिस इज अनदर थिंग अ चेक इज एन कैश एट द काउंटर ऑफ द बैंक यू माइट हैव माइट हैव सीन हाउ पीपल एन कैश चेक एट द एट द काउंटर ऑफ अ बैंक and there are so many formalities regarding that i've talked about that there there are many formalities regarding that you need to go to the manager then this sign and that sign top sign back sign two sign and the sign has to be exactly same the way you have signed in 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 the form when you filled up the form although check is not money yet the fact remains that check is being increasingly used as a means of payment not only in the developed world but also in developing countries you see check is not directly you know it it, it, it is not directly uh money it is not legal tender money but even after that worldwide people are using check money even in developing countries like india pakistan bangladesh and in developed countries like france and in usa they are using it in 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 a huge extent they are using it largely use or and check money but check is not legal tender money let's come to point number 10 which is standard money standard money is a unit of money the value of other units of money are related to it in india the rupee is the standard money one paise is a unit and it is 1% of 100 paise now you see what is standard money जैसे अगर हम अमेरिका में जाएंगे यू गो टू अमेरिका यू गैट डॉलर्स यू गो टू एनी अदर यूरोपियन कंट्रीज यू गैट यूरोस यू कम टू इंडिया यू गैट रुपीज यू गो टू बांग्लादेश यू गैट टाका या आई थिंक दैट्स द नेम ऑफ दैट करेंसी टाका इज द करेंसी इवन वी से दैट इवन वी यूज द सेम वर्ड टू डिटर्मिन आर फॉर्म्स ऑफ मनी दैट वी हैव ओके वट इज स्टैंडर्ड मनी स्टैंडर्ड मनी इज द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी 
that is accepted in your country and and what it is called money have you seen uh, in india our standard money is indian rupee and one paise is a unit of 100 paise similarly one rupee is a unit of 100 rupee is a unit of uh, 500 rupee is a unit of 1000 unit of 2000 so that is our standard money just like any other country number 11 is hot money imagine money with fire around it jokes apart that's not it hot money what is hot money is it boiling money is it money boiling it's not that money that goes out of the country in the in the face of socio economic disorder and uncertainty in the country is hot money you see uh, government you know uh, when a country is in a crisis or is in an emergency situation uh, the other countries offer help other countries give money so money that goes out of your country when another country is in an emergency situation when they are at a crisis when 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 there is a disorder or when when there is chaos when there is uncertainty when that country does not have enough fund your country lends money to that country your country gives a helping hand to that country that money that goes out from your country to their country is known as hot money now it is affected by speculation it is affected by speculation here means it is affected by the situations by the circumstances it is money on the wings we call it money on the wings because that's money going money having wings that 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 is money flying out of your country to another country it is also known as nervous money nervous money means uh, that money which you give in in a in a helping gesture is never going to come back and your country needs to be in a position to help another country in a situation like that so hot money in one word that is what you need to need to know hot money in one word is the money that goes out of your country when another country is a, is at a crisis or is at a speculation or there are there is uncertainty in that country and when you give when your country offers money to that country that my friend is hot money number 12 and number 13 you need to understand what is dear money the word dear means someone who is very close to our heart but here dear does not mean that here dear means costly and cheap means something that is not costly which is also known as easy money here dear money means costly money let let's find out how how it is reserve bank of india is what we need to keep in mind when we discuss that dear money reserves from central banking action it means when your central bank plays certain rules plays uh does an action because of that money becomes dear how let's find out when for an example india central bank the reserve bank of india also known as rbi raises its rate of interest the member banks will borrow less from the rbi in their turn the member banks will raise uh their rates of interest as a result of which the borrower will borrow less from the member banks money thus becomes dear it is dear money policy you need to understand that this is this is this is not as easy as it seems you see we all know that central bank uh, takes an account of all the money that is in the country also reserve bank is is responsible for the production and the availability of the money that we have in the market we know that now you see when reserve bank of india raises its interest on on the other bank you see reserve bank is the main bank central bank these two are the main banks and there are other banks like industrial development bank then we have uh, a yes bank we have uh, united uh, what is that uh, bank of india state bank of india so many banks we have all these banks they take money from rbi from reserve bank of india now you see when reserve bank of india raises its interest these other banks that we have they stop taking money from rbi and because of that there are other banks that are under state bank that are under industrial development bank or say hdfc bank or say other banks they also raise their interests to the other banks that they give loan to 
Now those banks who are under state bank or say uh, uh, what is that bank called? Uh, HDFC Bank or I, I, I some uh, Bank of India, Yes Bank or United Bank of India. They they also stop you know taking the money from these banks. It this this entire thing happens because of the rise of interest by Reserve Bank of India. So Reserve Bank के नीचे जो bank है वो भी Reserve Bank से लेना बंद कर देते हैं जो और उनके नीचे जो who want who want to take money from them वो भी raise कर देते हैं अपने interest because of that जो smaller banks हैं वो भी उनसे जो है they do not take any money they don't take they they don't borrow any money from the banks at all because of that uh, because of these actions money becomes dearer money जो है वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा कीमती बन जाता है and kimti is liye banta because of the action of reserve bank money does becomes dearer it is dear money policy this policy is known as dear money policy when reserve bank of india amalgamation with uh, central bank of india rises the interest the rate of the interest this is what happens and let's talk about cheap money it's the opposite of dear money when reserve bank of india uh, 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 de decreases Uh, the rates of interest तो क्या करता है बाकी जो भी बैंक उसके साथ एसोसिएटेड है सेंट्रल बैंक स्टेट स्टेट बैंक एच डी एफ सी बैंक येस बैंक यूनाइटेड बैंक ऑफ इंडिया देर आर मेनी बैंक दैट वी हैव आई डोंट इवन नो द नेम ऑफ दे स्टार्ट टेकिंग दे स्टार्ट बोरोइंग मोर मनी फ्रॉम दीज बैंक तो ये बाकी लोगों को भी मनी जो है और ज्यादा अवेल कराते हैं उस वक्त में जो मनी पॉलिसी होता है दैट मनी इज नोन एज चीप Money or cheap money policy is the opposite of dear money policy. That's how you need to know. If you understand dear dear money, you would understand cheap money. No need to discuss that anymore. Let's talk about the hot topic that is black money. What is black money? What can we do? What's our role? The ruling part that that the, what role do we have in in preventing this? We may discuss in a different class. But let's try to understand what's black money. We all have an idea in our mind what what black money is. Black money is not a distinct type of money. See, it, it's not a type of money. Any money can become black money when it is generated through economic offense. Any form of money can become black money. So, if you try to con your government, if you try to con your your government, your state, and you don't give or pay taxes which you were supposed to pay as you were earning a lot of money or an estimated amount of money, when you don't pay that, when you skip that, when you try, when you find a way to eat that. वो मनी जो है दैट बिकम्स ब्लैक मनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल टैक्स इवेजन इज एन इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंस सो इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू निगलेक्ट टू पे टैक्सेस दैट इज अ क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस दैट इज क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस इसी इफ एनीबडी फाइंड इफ एनीबडी फाइंड आउट दैट यू आर नॉट पेइंग टैक्सेस द गवर्नमेंट विल टेक एक्शन अगेंस्ट यू लेट एस सपोज लेट एस सपोज that after all deductions and rebates from his gross annual income an individual has to pay a uh, pay an income tax of rupees 5 lakh but the individual manipulates his tax statement in such a way that his uh, taxable income is shown as 1 lakh you see suppose an, uh, an individual after doing all the things that he does in a, in a year he needs to pay 5 lakh as a tax Five lakh as a tax, but he hires somebody and he manipulates the entire thing, and now he doesn't have to pay. Now, now here his account says he needs to pay only one lakh. Now, if there is a situation like that, where he evades his five lakh tax and makes it one lakh, the four lakh of money that he is trying to eat with the help of other people who are helping him in doing so, that amount of money becomes black money. therefore the amount of money which should have gone to the government treasury that is 5 minus 1 which is 4 lakhs stays with the individual the money that was supposed to be gone supposed to to be in the hands of the bank hands of the government to the treasury that doesn't go to the treasury it remains with the individual the individual does the quote the quote that we have that rich becomes richer and poor becomes poorer is true because indian people are not paying their taxes on time they always find out a way not to pay their taxes they always find out a way to somehow con this up this amount of money is black money or uncount unaccounted money uh, black money is also known as unaccounted money you must note that down 
uh, this this amount of money, which is four lakh of, lakhs of money that he didn't pay, which he was supposed to pay, is known as black money. Is also known as unaccounted money. It means money that was never accounted, money that was never money that never left the table. It is the product of an economic offense. Now you see that is economically an offense. It's a, it's a criminal offense. And if you are caught, your property may be seized, and 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 a great action of offense might be taken on you. Uh, so we should we should never do that. You see, one of the examples I, I could give you right now, which which comes to my mind, is why are these developing countries so developed? It, it's because human beings living there are so conscious. You see. Uh, all throughout the day, you know, I, I watch a number of videos. I, I barely watch any videos that is uploaded by any Indian. I, I keep on watching people out of our country just to learn, just to learn something new. And what came to my observation is this. First, individuals living in a developed country, they are very conscious. They know what is happening in their country. They are very conscious. You see, even if you look at the lockdown protocol that is happening in our country, in comparison to our country, other countries, other countries are more conscious. Although death rates may be higher, that 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 that, that confusion I cannot mitigate because I'm not a doctor. I can't I can't say why that is happening. But people are very conscious in other countries. Also, people are very conscious regarding paying taxes because they know if I if we don't pay taxes, they're not going to the government. How, how is the government going to work for us? Also, we have seen that. Uh, uh, pe people don't make mess. People, people don't uh, uh, keep. People keep their their streets clean. People use dustbins. Nobody needs to tell them. You know, uh, people have gotten gotten rid of bad habits like chewing tobacco, things like that. People understand that these things are not good. See, these are the things that that should come to your moral understanding. And people living in a developed country, they have these things in their mind. And when you tell them about these things, they don't say these things. They say they they, they become strange. They, they they find it weird asking them. Uh, even I gave you an example of of some Indian writer. I don't know his I don't know his name. Uh, he was at a check counter, and he was going to withdraw. He was going to and cash his check. And there was a guy. There was a lady. Uh, standing beside him, so he went to the counter, gave the check to the counter lady. The counter lady saw it just once and kept it and gave him the money. The guy, the Indian, was so confused. He asked, he couldn't couldn't stop there without asking a question to the ca cashier, to the cashier lady. He asked her, "Did you do you not have to check the? Do, do you not have to have to check it? Like uh, is is it like a real check or anything like that?" The cashier, the lady didn't say anything, she just smiled. But there was another lady standing beside him. She said, gentlemen, we don't do such thing in our country. And do you understand? What a strong remark is that? Because that's weird. They, people don't do that. There is no question of cheating. People are so aware that I need to pay my taxes. Electricity ka bill hai, mujhe dena hai. Phone ka bill hai, mujhe dena hai. Idhar mujhe kuch cheeze dekhna nahi hai. Now we see a number of people in our country. Jaha man kare wahan thukye, jaha man kare wahan they are just. Even unka bus chale to kahi pe bhi wo madlab shochale bana denge pura rastay ko. Which is a, which is a disastrous thing to talk about. You see, why am I telling you these things? Why am I telling you? Because you have to become conscious. I cannot make your parents conscious or, or neither can I make my parents conscious. I can become conscious and because I have become conscious, I am telling you to become conscious. Okay, last point. High power money. It means money that has high power. What kind of power? Let's find out. Out of the total supply in the country, that part which is under the direct control of the country's central bank is called high power money. You see, out of all the supply of money that is running in the country, you see, Reserve Bank of India and Central Bank of India has an account of all the money that has been distributed in the country. I mean, the country has been distributed in the country, how much crore of rupees people have, it's an estimated idea. Hota hai. Now, see, that estimated idea goes beyond when people don't pay taxes. So, in their account, it's double, 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 and and government doesn't have an idea about that. But in general, government keeps an account of how much money is on the go, on the run. Kitna hai? On the wings mein kitna money hai? Certain amount of money uh, that is supplied in the country, that is supplied in the country, is directly under the control of central bank. Okay? That, that is why central bank accesses that high power. By means of this, 
money, the central bank can increase or decrease the money supply in the country. Because central bank controls that huge amount of money, has control over that huge amount of money, uh, a certain amount of, over a certain amount of money, central bank can increase the supply of money in the market and can decrease the supply of money in the market as well. That's why we say central bank has high power money. This means money to supply karne ka, usko decrease karne ka, uska supply ka power to central bank ke paas hota hai because ultimately it has that power over its hands. So with that the discussion is over. Now if you have any questions you can ask me.